Hey, good morning, West Coast Johnny. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. So I'm one day behind schedule. It's Saturday, July 17th, and I'm painting the bottom half of my trailer in a few minutes. So uh, I almost had it done yesterday on time, but it's been really windy the last few days, and that's really been messing everything up. So let me show you what I'm doing. So I had to re-sand the whole bottom half again because two months ago it was all smooth, but because it's been sitting outside, it, it literally, um, it, it got like all kind of roughed up. It's hard to explain, but I had to sand the whole thing down again with 320 yesterday. And then I replaced all the paper. Um, and I just got to tack cloth it down and then mix my paint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom half. Got my stand. I got a brand new hose, so I never used this hose yet for anything. And I was saving it for this, for spraying this. They call that having a virgin hose. And that's supposed to be really good for automotive finishes. So like this one, I, I've been using this for, for a couple of years for everything. So I don't want any contaminants or any, anything that could be in the line coming out in the paint. It, it probably won't happen, but I just don't want to take chances. And then uh, there she is. Honestly, I don't like the paint. I just did it. I mean, it, it turned out nice, but it's, it's too bright for me. So believe it or not, when I'm finished painting this, I'm gonna sand the whole thing down with um, 320. And I already went to Alex Seal and I got some paint from them directly. So I'm going to paint it instead of cloud white, it's going to be oyster white, which is a little softer color. This is just too bright for me and I'm in the desert and I'm telling you, I don't want, if I have to wear sunglasses, you know, just to look at it, it's too bright for me. Okay, so here's what we're doing. I just went down and got some reducer, activator. Here's the color we're using right here. It's our avocado green. It looks kind of dark in the shade. Mixing tub, some sticks. The gun is all cleaned out, ready to go. I have my pressure all set. I put an extra little inline filter in there. And then this, I can adjust the air. avocado green and it's a polyurethane it's really nice it has a nice finish to it it's not dry and I already have some bugs on it but not much I can do I just got to wait till it dries and take them off but all right well it's been a few hours and I wanted to come out and take a look at it I think it looks amazing. It's just beautiful. So uh, I love the finish. It has a nice shine to it. So right here, I'm, um, you know, the belly trim that goes around here. I'm actually getting a piece of aluminum. I'm going to try to m match it to the, to the band. I'm going to have it go right across the door and it's going to be at the same angle and it's going to look exactly like the, like the, the band. 
but um, I really like the way it turned out. Uh, love, the, love the color. So now I can put my lights on. I could start working on my bumper. I could start, I could weld the uh, little piece that I need to put across here for my battery box. I can finish repainting this with the Pour 15 top coat. And then um, I can start, I'm going to change this color, just it's just a little too bright, like I said, and then I can uh, put all the windows in and just keep going. So, hey, thanks for watching this episode. And if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. I try to get back to everybody. Um, as a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, I deleted a bunch of comments by accident. And um, if one of them was somebody's and I didn't get back to you, leave me another comment. Uh, there was someone in the Los Angeles area who had a trailer. They wanted me to look at it or something or do some work on it. And I accidentally, that was one of the comments. So uh, please leave, leave that comment again. And anyways, take care, everybody.